Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and today it's just a really quick announcement I want to make about uh, San Diego Comic Con coming up. So a friend of mine, uh, Andy, who you guys know, Andy Babak, he was on my Parasite podcast. He was on one of the episodes over there. And uh, and by the way, thank you guys for listening to that and tuning into that. That has been really fun to do. It's been really nice talking to people who are, you know, viewers of this channel. Uh, then also people who are out there making content that either is, is either Venom related or they're big Venom collectors. And I just randomly found them on social media um, or they're just in the industry in some way. And I will have some surprising guests coming up for you guys uh, very soon. One in particular, I think you guys are going to freak out on. Um, but I, I am trying to get some more people, not just, uh, you know, fans and people who watch the show here, but also, you know, um, you know people who work in the industry, the movie industry and then other people who make content so i'm trying to make that my trifecta of of coolness that i'm going to bring to you guys so hopefully i'll have more for you very very soon um, and then those of you wondering where our Donnie Cates interview is, um, you know, that's, I don't know what's going on with that. You know, I'm trying to give Donnie space. He asked to be on the show. And so we came up with some questions and I sent him over to him. Eddie's mullet. He's our friend that, you know, did those episodes with me that got Donnie Cates attention. I think Donnie or uh, Eddie is actually, um, you know, Donnie's really busy, obviously. He's working on a lot of stuff, but Eddie's going to be deployed soon. He's in the military. So I won't be able to, um, I might have to do the show without Eddie. And it was a bummer because I really wanted Eddie on the show with me since he was the one who made that content with me and we collaborated together and that got Donnie's attention. Uh, but Donnie had to reschedule and I'm still waiting to hear back when he's available. So uh, once I hear back from that, I'll bring that episode to you guys as soon as possible. Um, but for this episode, so like I said, Andy, I mentioned at the beginning, Andy's been a friend of mine for years and I was having a lot of problems trying to get on the press list for Comic-Con this year. I tried uh, a, a couple times, you know, um, I think, I, and usually I just call it, or email and ask for answers. And to be fair to, to Comic-Con, because I haven't gotten any responses recently, but to be fair to them, I'm sure they are understaffed and maybe they have a lot going on right now. Uh, but I think I emailed them like a year or two ago and asked about press and they might've sent me something to fill out and I just couldn't find it. I was digging everywhere through my emails. Normally I save stuff like that. And for whatever reason, I couldn't find it. So to be fair to them, at one point they did send me something to, you know, fill out out, um, but it was just a year or two ago and I, I couldn't find it. So I was trying to get another form or whatever I needed to submit and I didn't get it in in time and it was a bummer. So I wasn't able to um, get on the press list. And the reason I wanted that is it basically it's an email list where studios can look and see your name and they're like, oh, hey, that name, uh, what do they cover? You know, and it'll list things you cover, you know, topic wise on your blog or your website or whatever. And, and so Andy was like, hey, um, if you want I have an extra press ticket uh, for you. I mean, you, you'll have to write some articles for me, which I don't mind doing, you know, so I'll be writing stuff for some CW shows and some uh, D DC stuff. And I said, dude, I don't mind at all. I'm a DC fan. I'm a CW fan. Uh, so I'm like, yeah, if you need me to cover a couple of stories or articles for you, I'm happy to do it. So he's like, all right, cool. So we'll put your name and your email on this list and that'll, you know, hopefully get them to reach out to you and send you press releases or anything like that and any information and they'll tell you when it can go out and stuff like that. So that's very exciting to me. So I hope someone at Sony sees my name on that list and uh, and then, you know, shoots me an email. Um, that would be great because I'd love to cover any Morbius news that might pop up, uh, any Venom 2 news, uh, you know, Venom Let There Be Carnage. If the Maximum Venom cartoon people, uh, Disney Plus, if they're going to, or Disney XD, if they're going to make any announcements of, you know, their show, I would love to, you know, cover that. So Hopefully, I will be able to bring this content to you guys. Obviously, I just started a new job, and it's too early for me to ask for days off, so I'm going to do the best I can. I'll probably have to work those days and then come home and catch up on all that stuff and then write up my, my articles on them for, for, you know, for Andy, send those to him, and then come over to you guys and record whatever I can, whatever information I get. So, yeah, hopefully, if there's anyone from Sony out there or Disney XD or whatever, you know, Marvel, who want, you know, Mor Morbius news covered or Venom news, Carnage news, uh, Spider-Man news, anything like that. Like, I'm happy to do it. Ghost Rider, obviously, you know, I do the Ghost Rider show. Um, so anything like that, I would be happy to cover. And hopefully I can cover for you guys and bring that information to you um, when they want it out there. You know, obviously I'm going to be very respectful. Um, and this is a big opportunity for me and I don't want to mess it up. And so if there is a chance that I can bring some news to you and they tell me I have to do it at a certain day at a certain time, 
I will do whatever I can to make that happen for you guys. Absolutely. Um, so yes, wish me luck on that. And I'll keep you guys updated as we get closer to Comic-Con. But a big thank you to Andy. And if you guys can also send Andy some love in the comments down below. And I'll also put a link to his site. So you can go subscribe to his YouTube channel. And then also, you know, follow his stuff. Because you might be seeing my name and some articles going up on some of the shows that he does over on his networks. So, uh, so yeah, be sure to check out all those links. I'll put them down below. Um, but thank you guys for the support. Thank you for everything. Uh, as you guys saw recently, I got my first check from YouTube from you guys. Um, I guess I, it got held up. Uh, there was something when I, cause I moved so many times from in LA, I went from my original apartment to moving in with Kevin and then from Kevin and moving into with Vic and then Vic, you know, now moving to Florida. And the thing about those is when I started the Venom vlog, it was right, I think right around the time I was about to move in with Kevin and then started making the videos where I was, you know, living with Kevin and then, uh, and then, you know, went to Vic and everything. So my address and all my details, um, for YouTube got screwed up. And so the money was just sitting in there and building, you know, a penny at a time. And then after two and a half years from Venom episode one, Venom vlog number one, which was called like spitting Venom, AKA Venom vlog, uh, from episode one, all the way to 524, you guys helped just by watching the show, sharing it, getting it out there. You guys got me a couple hundred bucks, $270, and I'm very grateful for that. I, I, my friend was making a joke. He's like, dude, you make less than 50 cents an episode over two and a half years. He goes, that's terrible. Like, you're not making any money. And it's like, well, but I didn't set out to make money at this. I was lucky to get here to make money. There was times where I got demonetized because they changed the rules and they said you had to have a thousand subscribers. Then you guys and people on Instagram rallied together, shared my information, shared my channel. You got me over a thousand. And then from there, we went, they kept climbing. I went and met Tom, Tom Hardy once. That made us climb more. Saw Tom Hardy again. That helped us climb more. And you know, I'm trying to put in as much work as I can to keep this show going and keep the energy going and keep the passion going. And it's really easy to do because I love this character and I love what it's done. This show has changed my life in a lot of ways. And yeah, to some people, it's just $270. But for me, it's like, man, I would have done this demonetized and done it for free anyway. I, I feel like I still would be at episode 500 even if we weren't monetized because I still wanted to do this show. And really the big takeaway is you guys, you know, you guys helping me get here. So I'm... Um, Grateful. I mean, you know, $270 is a lot of money, actually, especially right now. I haven't been getting any unemployment checks or any, you know, major help from, you know, from what's been going on during COVID. So and I just been living off my 401k and that ran out like I'm out of money. So, you know, the fact that I got a job and the fact that I get this little cushion of 270 bucks from you guys is perfect timing and it's just meant to be. And so thank you guys for the, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the kind comments. The, 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 the community we're building here is very positive and I love it because we challenge each other, uh, but we also aren't like D bags to each other. And it's, it's great to see a community act like that on YouTube. I, I, it's, it's, it happens for sure. I've seen it happen. I've seen a lot of channels that I think are very positive that kind of uh, build big audiences over positivity. And I, I like that we're doing that here, especially with a character named Venom, because uh, the oxymoron of that is really awesome. It's like, yeah, we do Venom, but it's a very positive community. <laughs> and I think that's great. So thank you guys for being a part of that community. Thanks for helping me out. Thanks for changing my life for the better in so many ways, ways you guys will never know. And uh, and I'm thankful for it. So uh, here's to another 530 episodes of this show. Um, you know, we'll, we'll keep going, man. We got not, we know we're going to be running out of comics. By the time the second movie comes out, we'll probably be out of you know, older comics to talk about. We'll probably just go month to month reviewing the new stuff. Uh, but, uh, but doesn't matter. You know, I'll, I'll cover everything I can. We'll do the history of, you know, Venom and video games. We'll, we'll find content. I'll dig it up. We'll find it and we'll make it and it'll be a good time. So uh, thank you guys very much. As always, let your comments be known down below. You excited for Comic-Con at home? I, I am now 10 times more excited and I, I'll have a lot of content for you guys, hopefully from that. Hopefully people at Sony and people at Marvel and stuff see my name and they go, you know what? The guy is, he's a brutal critic, but he means well and he, and, he, and he delivers, you know, hopefully they think I deliver good content and hopefully they'll give me a chance and trust me with information. I've been trusted by other people in the past with stuff and none of that stuff has ever leaked on here and, and it never will because I'm not out for that. I'm not out for the glory in anything. I'm not out to, you know, get to inflate my numbers or, or, or subscribers by breaking someone's trust. That is not who I am. I'm trying to do this the right way, trying to be a good journalist uh, and learn from, you know, other people's mistakes and some that I've made myself. 
and I'm trying to get better at this. And so hopefully, you know, people see that and they give me a chance and hopefully that leads me to bring great content to you guys in the future. So let me know your thoughts down below as always. We'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the future. Peace.